Hey there, YouTube. Merry Christmas. It's Sean, aka That Nerd Kid Ugly again. Here, doing another one. Back in the old Jeep for another review. This time I have Cornell and Deal's Jolly Old St. Nicholas. It's not going to come through the best. It is that time of evening where the sun's starting to go down a little bit. I got some Bing playing. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. But let's see what the Tim says on this and then I'll get into my review of it. So it says holiday 2022. I don't know how to pronounce this word, so I apologize right off the bat. A large easy of St. Nick's personal smoking mixture. This magical blend combines the finest golden virginias with a mellow black cavendish and a whisper of a genuine, genuine St. James Perique for complex tobacco flavor, enhanced by notes of orange liquor and hints of ginger, alluding to an early legend of Kris Kringle's Chris Kringle secretly gifting gold to needful families. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't believe Saint Nick would have smoked this in his pipe. Far from it. Um, and I, I, I will admit I am disappointed by this blend. I've read a lot of reviews, and it seems like in the past people have loved it. This time, and it's my first time having, like, I've, I've smoked both. This is the first year that I've, I've tried this. Um, I've been able to get their holiday blend since they did corn cob pipe and a button nose last time. And I believe that was 19. So, do the math on that, because I'm not the best at it. And I went out, and I'm using one of my croc lighters. But, all right, I, I'm getting ahead of myself on there. So, I don't know how well you can see it because of some, um, but there we go. That's better. You got St. Nick there. A little cartoony St. Nick. I've seen the old logo, and I wish I would have kept it. I, I'm not really a fan of this. Got the reindeer, jolly old St. Nick. Let's get a, the tin note. The tin oak smells good on this. You get the orange and the gore in there. And you get those nice sweet Virginias. You real there's no perique coming through on the on the on the initial smell of this. I'm not really getting I mean there might be small a uh, small twang, tang, but it's definitely more Virginias with that orange liquor. gore. Um Maybe tiny bit of ginger, but I man, I don't really get much ginger. It's the usual ribbon cut. From Cornell and Deal, um, kind of wet. 10 15 minutes of sitting is really all you need. Um, it's not goopy, goopy, but it's also not super dry. As for the beard smell, I'm gonna do everything before I get into the, the full thing on this. But as for the beard smell, I'll it does smell good after you get done smoking it and you're walking around. And if you have like a beard, or it, you get that smell. You definitely get that sweet, orange, kind of rummy. As for smoking this blend, I've had it in cobs, I've had it in briars. This is where the issue comes into me. Is the actual flavor you're getting off of this. The best way I can describe it, it's somebody was talking about this blend on the NAPS page, the New Age Pipe Smokers on Facebook page the other day, and I commented on there about what I felt. It reminds me of like the old Halloween rubber plastic mask, like the full things you put on, and you could smell like that's all you could smell when you put it on. That mixed with. I 
a tiny bit of citrus, and it, it, it that's what it tastes like. And it's not the greatest. It it's a hard hard smoke for me personally. Um, this may actually be the last time I smoke it this season. I'll probably put it away, let it sit for a year. I don't know. I was go like, oh, aromatics. You know, so I, I let my aromatics sit. I, I'm one of those ones that like to see the changes in them. Sometimes they're better. Sometimes they're worse. Um, autumn evening, I have found to be worse when you let that age. I'm not a fan of it. Corn cob pipe and a button nose holds on to it. Um, we three kings. That that's good. And then for the other Christmas one there, I'm I'm blanking on right now. Uh, Golden days of yore. That is fantastic with some age on it. Is it, it, it you get that good meld? And maybe this will be one of those. My Lord Excellent French Briar, little unfancy pipe. You know, I don't care. But yeah, it's definitely a disappointment. Um, I was able to get my hands on some. Kringle Flake from this year. So I'm excited to get that. I also have some North Pole from Sutliff on the way. So I plan on bring, breaking out my Kringle, Kringle Flake 2021 that I got last year. I haven't opened it yet. It's been sitting in the tin. And I'm going to crack that open on Christmas Day. That's my plan anyways. Um... And that one wasn't too bad. That that drag I just got. The, the citrus orange is really strong on that one. Um, I really don't get Virginia. I don't get the I don't get any Perique Perique on it. And I'm a I'm a Perique fan. I do. I like I like Perique. I like I like all that. Um. But yeah, I got that one good about it. But the rest of it, it's just it, it's a hard blend to get into. You know, maybe there's people out there that, that love it and will enjoy it. Um, maybe I just got a bad tin of it. I'm not a fan of it right now. Like I said, I'm gonna sit for a year. Let's see if that helps at all. Uh, but you know, I have other blends that I'm smoking. I had a bowl of Sutliff. Christmas spice here, or yeah, I believe it's Christmas spice. Um, I may be wrong there. I, I think it's Christmas spice, but it's their, their Christmas one. Um, last year I did it, and I had the hardest time because it reminded me of the Fireball gum. I'm not a fan of that. I let it sit for a year, and it definitely toned down. And now it's a good mix, good amount of spice to it. It's not overpowering. But yeah, it's my review on this. Um, if you want to try it, pick it up. It's it's just really disappointing for me. And this might be might be the head up for like the worst blend of the year I've had so far. Um, but I hope you and yours have a good season. I hope you have a good Christmas. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple more reviews done before Christmas itself. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not the best at putting these videos out. I put them out when I can. But I'm not even going to rate this one. But until next time, boys and girls, happy smokes.